from the Mulligan Information Voter Project. All right. With the uh, Low Information Voter Project and the President Douglas Republic. I'm totally against amnesty. First, let me say borders, language, and culture. If you listen to Michael Savage, you know where I'm coming from. Second of all, I'd like to let inform you that illegals are terrorists. Now, a lot of people think that's radical. So let me hear you clap. Illegals are terrorists. I'm going to say the things that a lot of people are afraid to say. I'm going to say the difficult things. You can count on me to do that. Now, the reason why I call them terrorists is because they infiltrate our sovereign borders knowing full well that, that it's illegal to do so. So if you agree with that, then you agree that they are terrorists. Second of all, let me say that they wreak havoc on our educational system, health care system, welfare system, and they steal American jobs. But unfortunately, we have a lot of cowardly politicians they like to say they only take the work that we will not do. I'm insulted by that statement. And you should be mad as hell and pissed off the next time you hear a politician make that statement. We, we did those jobs prior to the illegals coming here, and we will continue to do those jobs once we deport their asses out of here. Another problem I have with these, with these illegals is that they're not patriotic. They don't have a, an allegiance to this country. They come in here to make some money, send it back, and I guess I'm going to say it, and I don't give a damn, Mexico, because the majority of them are coming from Mexico. I guarantee you there's a few of them up there cooking right now in the Chipotle. You see, don't nobody want to get up and say this crap. And if your politicians won't talk the way I talk, you should kick their asses out of office. Another thing, they bring crime and criminal activity to our country in the form of Mexican gangs and drug cartel activity. Say what it is. Say the truth. My Law Information Voter Project, we go door to door delivering the truth. We drop the truth off at the doorstep. Oftentimes, people will engage us. And guess what? I give them a mouthful. And I wanna, I wanna share something else with you all. When you give people the truth, in time, they make the right decision. So stop being afraid to talk to your friends and your families about this illegal immigration problem because they might call you a racist or whatever. Guess what? Like I tell all my conservative Caucasian friends, if you're not being called a racist, you're not doing your job. Get busy. Let me also say that it is treasonous for our legislators to discuss how they can create a pathway to citizenship. Now, we must hold court and convict those politicians of treason and vote them out of office. Hold on, hold on. Let's start with the capitulator in chief, John Bain. And let me pause, let me pause for a minute to say this. J.D. Winterag will be running for his position. We had better get out and vote for him. He's a strong Christian conservative and we need to replace Boehner. And I don't want to hear any of this crap about, well, he's already in there and uh, he's the speaker. I don't give a damn. We can get a new speaker. So, so let me say that. I was recently told that I was a racist. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Follow me. For opposing amnesty. And I responded by saying that I, 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 um, I'm a damn good racist. <laughs> Because not only do I oppose amnesty, I completely support immediate deportation. And now I have to pause once again to reiterate something I said. If your politicians are not talking like I'm talking, if your political pundits are afraid to talk the way I talk, turn them off, fire the politicians. I'm sick of, I'm sick of people being afraid to say what they want to say. You say it, and that's that. Now, I, I, I was asked, somebody else asked me recently, said, well, what, what should we do about the, le the legal children of illegal immigrants? Hold on, because I'm not one of these bleeding heart liberals. I'm not a compassionate conservative. To hell with that, that gets us into trouble. That's the reason why Barack Obama's our president. 
Let me explain something to you. This is what I told them. I said we got two choices. No, they have two choices. First of all, it's not any responsibility of our legislators to be debating what the hell to do about children, illegal children of illegal immigrants. That's a family matter. They got two choices. They can pack up and take them back to Mexico. I know they come from other places, but the vast majority are coming from Mexico. Say what it is. Take them back to Mexico or they can leave them here with a, with a legal guardian. I don't give a damn. It's not my problem and I don't want to hear congressmen debating about it. Now, uh, let me say this. We, got, we have got to find these, these employers and, and find them heavily when they want to employ illegal immigrants. Find them in a manner that's going to put them out of business. Well, people say, well, that's big government. I don't give a damn. I'm trying to get them out of here. So number one, if, if you want to hire illegals, okay, that's fine. When we bust you, we're going to find you and put you out of business. Because you're breaking our laws behind them in the first damn place. Secondly, secondly, make the schools verify citizenship on these kids. If you can't work, if your kids can't go to school, guess what? They're going to self-deport. I'll help you. We'll give them bus tickets or something. It really doesn't matter. Now, that, that's enough about illegal immigration. Before I sit down, let me say this very, very quickly. What we do at the Law Information Voter Project is we go door to door distributing the truth. When you give people the truth, well, first of all, let me say, look around you. You don't see very many black people here today, right? That's because they don't have the truth. That's because they tune into the liberal media and they don't have access to the truth. Now, I love Glenn Beck, I love Michael Savage, uh, Rush Limbaugh, Hannity, all of them. They do a great job, but guess what? Their message does not reach the people. Let me repeat, their message does not reach the people that they need to reach. That's the reason why I started the Law Information Voter Project, and we go to the worst neighborhoods, the best neighborhoods, it doesn't matter, and we go to their doors, and we lay at the door the truth. I have a pamphlet called We the People, and also the Frederick Douglass Republican pamphlet that some of you may have here today. And we lay that there, and they read this information, and then they begin to do their research, and this is how we change them. Oftentimes, I engage people in barbershops and beauty salons, and when I first go in there, they want to throw me the hell out once they hear what I'm talking about. Until I tell them, pull out your smartphones and start fact-checking me. And here's one that goes over very well in a black barbershop. I show them where Lyndon Baines Johnson said, and don't everybody act all silly when I say this. He said, we're going to have those niggers voting Democrat for the next 200 years. And I put them on the path to the truth. I give them the truth. And some of these people that once hated me and despised me and wouldn't speak to me and kicked me off of Facebook as their friends, then they cling to every word I say. You know why? Because they're so used to being lied to. But then I come along and I'm giving them the truth. The best thing you can do is arm yourself with the truth and help me to rapidly disseminate it across this country. And I'm not talking about radio. I'm not talking about billboards. You've got to get something tangible like a pamphlet that you can put in their hands that they can pick up, sit down, next day pick up, sit back down, read, pick it up, sit back down, and they'll keep going over that information. And then they'll call you. They'll call somebody. They're going to want to talk about this. They're going, they're going to want to share it with somebody. A 30-second radio commercial Radio, radio commercial can't do it. You got to give them something in their hand that they can take notes on and sit down at their desk at night when nobody's around and, and get on Google and begin to research some of this information. So the way we're going to win this country back is door-to-door, -door, face to face. I call it my door-to-door, -door, face to face project. It's called door-to-door, -door, face to face new media. Now, one last thing: I'm working with Tea Party organizations and liberty groups across this country. I'll ship out pamphlets to you, and you can distribute them, distribute those pamphlets in your community because I. I can't walk this whole country. But I can sure as hell mail you and your organization some pamphlets, and you all can get up and go and, and distribute that information. And I said this was the last thing I was going to say, but one last thing. I see you here at this rally today, but unfortunately many of you are going to go home and you ain't going to do a damn thing. I may have insulted some of you good. But let me tell you this. I'm, a, I'm an agent of fear. If you continue, continue to sit on your asses, guess what? They're coming for you next. Go to go to 700 WLW, look up Daryl Parks, and look at the video of the men getting shot in the head today. They want to do that to us. Radical Islam is here, and it, they want to do that to us. And it's coming across our southern border. Thank you. Alan McIntyre, ladies and gentlemen.